Hello, in this Ionic video, we're going to cover the built-in header and subheader classes for the CSS components. So you got a header and a subheader, and you got some basic styling that Ionic provides, really simple stuff. So I'm just gonna switch over to my text editor, and in the index.html file, this is where I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna get rid of all the default code, and to add a header, it is really simple, you do a div, See the easy, this is sort of messed up. And then inside of here, you actually before you even do that, we've got to do the classes. So class equals bar bar dash header, then bar dash light. This is the first one we're gonna look at, but we'll cover all the different headers and subheaders in here. And in here, just put a h1, and for this, just put a class of title. And inside here, just put header. Save that. Compile our project. And now that is done, we can run the code in our simulator. Or run the project, I should say. As you can see, this is what a, a light header looks like. So now let's cover the various other header styling within Ionic. So first of all, what I'm actually going to do is put a comment here. And this comment is simply going to provide you with all the different styling methods or styling classes that you can use for headers. So this way, I don't need to just copy and paste this and just comment it out. So you can just see what you need to update on your end. So the next one we're going to cover is bar dash stable. You know what? What I'm going to do is just add them all here. So I'm going to do bar dash positive, bar dash com, bar dash balance. That's the next one, which is basically a green one. Bar dash energized, bar dash assertive. I only if you can guess what color the bar dash assertive will be without obviously using it. Bar dash royal and bar dash dark. So these are all the different classes that you can use for styling a header and a subheader for that matter. So if, for example, we wanted to do energized, so energized, save that, build our project, switch over to Xcode or however you are running it, run our project and we now, or we should have a header, here we go. And as you can see, not only are these styled it, it's actually changed the status bar color as well, which is fantastic. This is a great way of change, making it look really, really slick. You might be thinking, okay, the black doesn't quite look as good as the white. How do you change that? If you check out our YouTube channel, we've got a tutorial on how to change the status bar color on an iOS device. So, yeah, now what I'm gonna do is show you how to do a subheader for the rest of these classes because I've listed the mighty and all you do is just change this class. We want you to code it yourself and just mess around with it just to see the different classes. So to do a subheader, you do another div. Inside here, you have a class of bar, bar dash subheader, not sud, subheader. And now you have your styling class, so bar dash, I'm gonna put royal and inside here just put a h1 for a class of title and in here I'm just gonna put subheader save this build our project now refresh our project I mean rerun our project and here we go, we have a header and a subheader. It's that simple to use headers and subheaders within Ionic. 
If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. There will be a link in the description to our GitHub page, which has the source code from all the videos in this series. So check that out. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.